the Cassiopeia case is highlighted in episode 3 of the new Netflix documentary series about Madeleine McCann. The Cassiopeia scandal surrounded the abuse of children and employees at a Portuguese state-run institution for the education of children in poverty. The Disappearance of Madeleine McCann is an eight-part series, streaming on Netflix now. Madeleine's parents, Jerry and Kate McCann have issued a statement regarding the documentary. It reads, the production company told us that they were making the documentary and asked us to participate, they said. We did not see, and still do not see, how this program will help the search for Madeline and, particularly given there is an active police investigation, it could potentially hinder it. Consequently, our views and preferences are not reflected in the program. We will not be making any further statements or giving interviews regarding this program. Who is Rui Pedro? What was the Cassapia case? The Cassapia child al abuse scandal was uncovered in the early 2000s. The Guardian reported the Portuguese Judiciary Police estimated more than 100 boys and girls of the 4,600 pupils in the Cassapia system were rally abused across several decades. Cassapia was a 230-year-old state-run institution providing education and support to poor children and underage orphans. Some of the pupils at the school were deaf and mute. The case first came to light in the early 1980s, when the police investigated the caretaker of a Cassapia-run children's home over accusations of rape. Police also accused the perpetrators of supplying the children to men from Portugal and other places in Europe. However, the accusations were not pursued further until the early 2000s, when former orphanage children, who were the alleged victims, came forward. How long has Madeleine McCann been missing for? In 2002, the scandal was made public when the mother of one alleged victim came forward. Following this, more victims spoke out and publicly accused staff and prominent figures of al abuse. The scandal involved several prominent figures including TV presenter Carlos Cruz, UNESCO ambassador Jorge Rito and former Casapia governor Manuel Abrant. Casapia was the first time an institutional abuse scandal had been taken to court in the country. One of the lead detectives in the Casapia case was Paolo Ribello, who also helped investigate the Madeleine McCann disappearance. The trial lasted over five years and included testimony from more than 80 witnesses and experts. Overall, 32 victims were identified during the trial but there is thought to be many more. The Independent reported the sentencing document alone runs up to 2,000 pages. Who are the tapas 7 question mark in 2010 six men were convicted and sentenced to up to 18 years in prison for their role in the Casapia abuse scandal. The men convicted in the Casapia scandal were Carols Cruz, 7 years Manuela Brunts, 5 years case peer employee Carlos Silvino, 18 years lawyer Hugo Marcel. 6 years and 2 months physician Ferradinis, 7 years Jorge Rito, 6 years and 8 months during the trial. Carlos Silvino confessed to 639 charges relating to the abuse of children. The other four men accused protested their innocence throughout the trial. BBC News also reported how the victims identified their accusers by pointing them out in the courtroom. The BBC reported that Cruz said, This is one of the most monstrous judicial mistakes in Portuguese history and dismissed his guilty verdict as based on lies and manipulation. The disappearance of Madeleine McCann is streaming on Netflix now. This article contains affiliate links, which means we may receive a commission on any sales of products or services we write about. This article was written completely independently. See more details here.